Hello and welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna, the Arsenal podcast brought to you by AMS Media. As ever, I'm your host, Harry Simiou, and we are back with our Transfer Daily series each day, Monday to Friday, that is. We're going to be bringing you a special edition, just a short one, where we're going to be looking at some of the transfer stories doing the rounds in regards to Arsenal Football Club, of course. Before I go on, if you haven't hit the subscribe button already, please do um, make sure you're subscribed, whether that's on the audio platforms or via our YouTube channel. And if you haven't hit like yet, well, I hope that you're going to like the video. So hopefully that's enough to persuade you to hit that button early doors. And uh, the player that we're going to be talking about today is a player that Arsenal have been linked with for quite some time now. It's a story that isn't going away. And those are the reports linking Arsenal with the Chelsea winger, Willian. Of course, the Brazilian, he came to the Premier League back in August 2013 from Anzi Machkachkala, if that's how you say it. Um, Russian side previously, of course, though, of Shakhtar Donetsk. He came from Russia to the Premier League to join Chelsea in a deal reportedly worth 31 Point nine five million pounds. Now, if you remember correctly, it looked as though he was White Hart Lane bound. And right at the last minute, Chelsea stole in and Willian opted to join Chelsea, if I'm remembering that correctly. But I just remember him snubbing them somehow. And, you know, regardless of how that happened and, and the ins and the outs of it, it is great to see anyone snub Tottenham, to be fair. So he's already got a green light for me on that one. Um, but in terms of Willian's suitability to Arsenal and the project at Arsenal at the moment, I'm going to have to say that, in my opinion, signing Willian this summer would be the wrong move. And I'm going to go into the reasons why. There is no denying that in terms of his quality and in terms of his outputs and what he produces on the football pitch week in, week out, he would be an upgrade for us on a number of players. He's a very, very good footballer. He's a top quality sort of operator. He's been around the block. He's 31. He's going to be 32 uh, next month. And that is one of the reasons why I'm a little bit sceptical about it. But we'll come back to that in a moment. Let's just look at his outputs this season. And the proof is in the pudding. Willian can still do it at Premier League level. Chelsea have, of course, qualified for the UEFA Champions League next season. And Willian has played a massive part in that. 36 Premier League appearances this season. He's got nine goals and provided his teammates with seven assists. He's been in Frank Lampard's starting 11 this season, 76% of the time. He's played 76% of Chelsea's total minutes in the Premier League and he's participated in 23% of Chelsea's Premier League goals this season. So you can see that this guy is still capable of having an impact. He still does have a massive impact on Premier League football and in particular at Chelsea. And of course, he gives you that flexibility in the sense that he can play from the right. He's comfortable playing on the left and he can also play in the hole as well. Willian is a a really useful player anywhere across those sort of attacking midfield and wide positions. Willian is your man. He can do a job there. Of course, he's an experienced Brazilian international as well. 69 caps for Brazil to his name, uh, nine goals in that time. So yeah, look, there, there's, there's lots to suggest that Willian would be a good addition to Mikel Arteta's side. Add to that that according to transfermarket.co.uk, his current value stands at 20 million pounds the fact that he's available for free this summer makes it a little bit of, what's the word? Uh, it, it makes it a, an appealing one. And it means that I'm sure Arsenal will not be the only clubs going after Willian if he is indeed to leave Chelsea. There's been some contradictory reports, though, flying around in the last few days. And so I just want to address those those. We heard uh, previously that he was not going to stay at Chelsea because Chelsea were only willing to offer Willian a two-year contract. This understood that the Brazilian is after a three-year deal. That's what he wants. He wants a three-year contract that would, I guess, essentially see him through to the age of approximately 35. And then he can say, see you later. Um, and perhaps either return back to Brazil. Maybe he'll go and play in the MLS or the Chinese Super League, you know, one of the retirement leagues, as I like to call them. Um, but that's w w those were the stories doing the rounds. Chelsea were not willing to give William the three-year deal that he wants. 
And then today, we've heard uh, from Sky Sports News, actually, and I'm just going to try and bring up the story now, actually, on my uh, on my computer in front of me, that there may be a breakthrough in the contract talks and that a deal between Chelsea and Willian could be agreed uh, between the two parties by the end of this week, which completely contradicts, doesn't it, um, everything we've been hearing prior. So it says William could agree a new deal at Chelsea before the end of the week with the winger's current contract set to expire. Frank Lampard has remained hopeful that a deal could be struck with the former Shakhtar forward. And despite offers from a host of clubs, it appears a breakthrough has been achieved. The 31-year-old Premier League winner has been holding out for a three-year deal while Chelsea have only offered a two-year deal. And then it goes on to say that the news will come as a blow for Arsenal and uh, for Barcelona, for Manchester United and for David Beckham's into Miami, who have apparently also asked to be kept informed of Willian's availability. So there's, you know, all of that stuff's going on. You know, is he signing? Is he not? If he is available, would I have him? That's the question. That's the point of this episode. Me personally... As I said right at the top of the show, top quality operator has lots to offer still at this level. And as I said, he would be a real upgrade on some of the players that we have in those positions. I genuinely believe that. However, if Willian is after a three-year deal, I don't think Arsenal can offer Willian a three-year deal. It just wouldn't be right at a time when we're trying to rebuild, at a time where we are desperate to you know, build something that's going to last us for the future. We've done the short-term planning in recent years. It's not fucking worked. It's clear that it's not worked because we've just finished eighth in the Premier League. It really, really hasn't worked. This is a deal that feels to me like it would suck up a great deal of resource. And whilst the benefit would be there in the short term, what happens if Williams' performances take a dip after the first year? And given that he's going to be 32 by the time the 2020-21 campaign starts... It feels silly. I know he's available on a free transfer, but mark my words, William will want a fair wage packet. The geezer has been earning and earning at Chelsea for the last how many years? I'm sure uh, he is going to want one hell of a pay packet. And given we keep hearing about the financial issues at Arsenal and the fact that we're trying to get rid of these sort of older players who were, were good, I get, I guess, fits for the short term, but they're not anymore. I just don't think it would be the right approach. And it pains me to say that because if we're just looking purely on football ability, I think Willian is good enough and he probably will be good enough for another couple of seasons. But given the age, given the investment that's going to be required, I don't think that this is a risk that Arsenal can afford to take at this particular moment in time. It worries me. It really does. Uh, The links have obviously been made for a number of reasons. Obviously, he's available. Obviously, he loves London life, as does pretty much most players that come to this country and play for the likes of Arsenal, Chelsea. They don't really want to leave. Um, The pay is great. The lifestyle is good. London is a wonderful place when you've got money in your pocket. Um, But, you know, it's... You know, it feels like it might be a bit of a convenient link because of the Kia Jurabchian stuff. And we know that Kia Jurabchian, apparently at the moment, he and Edu are in bed together and they're doing deals and they're trying to get things done. William, of course, is represented by Kia Jurabchian Sport Invest UK Limited, which means there is a good chance that the deal could come to fruition. But I just, my head, sorry, my heart, my football heart, that doesn't take into account any logic or anything else, just purely in terms of the quality of football that I love to see, tells me go out and get Willie and give him an offer that he can't refuse. But my head tells me it would be a bad deal from a business perspective and it would set us back potentially, not just next season, but for seasons to come when we're stuck with a player like that on the wage bill. And if he did get a three-year contract and his performance is dipped, he could essentially do a mess at Ozil and sit around, collect his pay and do nothing. And that worries me. And it probably worries me more because we've been burnt by that in the past. But that's just my take on it. William feels like a bit of a gamble for me, just based on the reasons that I've gone into. Again, I'll reiterate the point. I think he's a wonderful footballer. He's very experienced, very talented. I think he'd add something in terms of his drive, his directness, in terms of his ability to deliver set pieces with a high level of quality. You know, there's so many things he would bring to the team from a footballing perspective. But in terms of resources, I think he would drain a hell of a lot of our resource. And... 
I can't see this being one for the longer term future. If Willian was saying, yeah, I'll have a one year deal. Great. That would be the ideal scenario. I'd snap him up like that. If Willian said I could join on a two year deal again, providing the figures weren't fucking crazy. I'd do it like that again. Because I really, really do believe that Willian is a really, really good footballer. And somebody who, as I keep saying, will improve this Arsenal side. However, if he's only after a three-year deal, I can't see how Arsenal do that. I can't see how that makes sense. I can't see how we take that risk again. And the very sort of short-term planning that has put us in the position that we're in now it would feel to me like we've not come away from that, like we haven't learned our lesson. And that would be really, really disappointing and deflating. So that's my opinion on Willian. Great player. I'd love to see him play for Arsenal. But I just think from a business standpoint, it does not make sense, particularly if he is demanding a three-year deal. Chelsea are supposedly the favourites to to renew his contract now. So the whole thing has flipped a little bit. But Arsenal are still in the running and... and you know, you just feel like with the Jurabchan links that this link to Arsenal is a very real one. So I thought it was worth discussing. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Would you like to see Arsenal snap up Willian from Chelsea this summer? If he does indeed agree a new deal there, will you be disappointed that he hasn't come to the Emirates? We'll have to see how that one unfolds. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section as always. We'll be back tomorrow with another one of these and we'll be bringing you our patrons podcast where I'm going to be joined by a couple of our patrons to talk all things Arsenal. We're going to be live at 8 p.m. on YouTube and the audio will be available the next morning for those of you who prefer that. If you want to become a patron and have the chance to appear on the podcast and gain access to exclusive content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the chronicles of a gooner. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, review. You know the drill by now. And we'll be back very, very soon with more. So until then, take care. Ciao.